All right, let's take a look at um, how we can use the work, the principle of work and energy. And once again, that is the fact that the work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. And we have two definitions, right? Um, work is F delta X if it's a constant force and change in kinetic energy or kinetic energy itself is a one half MV squared. So the change would be one half MV final minus one half MV initial squared. All right, so that's what we're gonna use. Um, what we have is a mass or a block. It's, we have a force pulling it to the right and we know the magnitude of the force. It's 10 Newtons. We also know the mass. They want to know what's the speed after three meters. What? We normally figure out what the acceleration is and then use a kinematic formula. But we don't have to. We can just use the principle of work and energy. So we still need to go ahead and label any forces, figure out if they do work. Um, that's very important. Um, Go ahead and do the free body diagram. Then look at which ones are acting in the direction of the displacement or have some component in the direction of the displacement. Figure out that component and use that to calculate the work done. In this case, we have a force being applied horizontally and to the right. We would have some mg pointed down, some normal force pointed up, and there's no friction. It's on a frictionless surface. So that's it. Now, um, if I look at the work being equal to, basically bringing this back down here, the change in kinetic energy, and the work would be equal to our F delta X, the change in kinetic energy is it one half mv squared in its final state minus one half mv squared in its initial state. So all of this stuff we're doing now is like before and after. We don't really care how much time went by. We just care what the position is at one spot and what the position is at another another point in time. But we don't care how much time went by. Sometimes we can figure that out. Uh, we can use make our own kinematic equations or use some of the constant accelerations, if it's constant, to figure that out. But basically, we get to skip that. This makes problems uh, a little bit um, not easier, but it's uh, another route. How about that? Sometimes we don't have all the information to solve using just Newton's laws. Uh, we need other things like the principle of work and energy. So um, this block is initially at rest. So let's say the initial is equal to zero. That means this whole term goes away. So I just get F delta X is equal to one half MV final squared. And what's the speed after three meters? Well, then we're just gonna solve for V final. I get V final is equal to F delta X, move the two up top, divide by M, and then we would square root it. Take as many steps as you need to do that. Um, we can crank this number out now. We have two times the 12 Newton force times the displacement, three meters, and we know the mass, six kilograms. Uh, we get the speed as 3.5 meters per second. Ta-da! No kinematic equation needed. If you remember, this whole derivation did come from F is equal to MA and then us manipulating the acceleration, putting the DS portion over here, integrating, integrating, etc. So it did come from Newton's second law. But um, less steps. We typically get to do things with less steps with principles of work and energy and the conservation of energy. Um, there's another part in the book. It says, what if? What if the magnitude of the force, so we'll call it the new force, F prime, what if it was two times the original force? 
The same block accelerates to that final velocity of 3.5 meters per second that we just solved um, due to this force, but it goes through some different displacement delta x prime. Since the force is twice as much, how does the displacement x prime, our new displacement, compare to our old displacement of 3 meters, which was just our delta x? Well, we can actually do this mathematically. Um, if we say the work done is going to be equal to this new f prime times some delta x prime, and that our work for, we'll call this work new, and work old is equal to some f delta x. Um, ends up the same amount of work is being done, and we can say that f delta x is equal to f prime delta x prime. And we can solve for delta x prime as the ratio of the forces times delta x. And let's put the, the forces in. Um, f prime is equal to 2f. Let's put that right here. I get f over 2f times delta x. And cancel, cancel. I get delta x over 2. Now think about the answer. We applied twice as big of a force. It should accelerate twice as fast, and the it makes perfectly good sense that the to get to that speed, it's only going to take half the distance. So once again, we did this without looking at acceleration at all. Um, we're going to get lots of new methods especially when we get into um, momentum. Conservation of energy, um, impulse, and momentum are going to finish out a lot of our uh, tools that we're going to need to solve all these problems.